Hey friends, Wednesday devotional, and I want to talk to you today about a couple of lies that I hear perpetuated throughout our culture. There's lots of things in our culture that are good, and uh, there are lots of things in our culture that are not so good. And so I want to address a couple of those today. First, um, the kind of the grounding reality is, or the grounding truth is that God is at the center of of all of life, that the scriptures say that in him we live and move and have our being. That's Acts 17. Colossians 1 says that he is before all things, and in him all things hold together, that he is, that we're created by him and for him. And so we are not meant to live life apart from God. We have existence because of his love and his power. So the two lies that I see that are being perpetuated in our culture is first the lie of autonomy, that people believe that they, are, um, they have a right to live autonomous lives. They have a right to live independent and to do whatever they want to do. The second lie is that of self-sufficiency, that we have in ourselves everything that we need to be who we need to be and to do what we need to do. So this first lie of autonomy is just simply, it's a disregard for the very fact that we've been given life by God, that we exist by him and for him. And so it's a rejection of the very core of what it means to be human. He is the giver of life. He's the governor of life, and he's the one who defines how we're supposed to live our lives. This lie of self-sufficiency is this idea that, um, that it, again, it's a disregard that God has created us not to be islands in and of ourselves, not to be self-sufficient. Um, the opposite of that, of that is also true. We're not to be dependent on everyone. We are to be interdependent. So, we need others, they need us, and we are not meant to live life uh, in a self-sufficient way. We're supposed to earn our keep and, and uh, make enough to not only meet our needs, but to share with others, but not to, lead, not to be uh, dependent on others uh, for our daily needs. But the idea of self-sufficiency here is it's it's got to be realized by um, by humility. There's there's got to be something inside of us that we recognize we that we admit that we're not meant to be self sufficient, and we we need God, and uh, we need others. And I think it's clear that we need that in those in that order that we need God, and we need others. And so um, so I want you to embrace. Um, as, as a person who would to live life in a way that honors God, embrace the fact that you, you were created by him and for him, that in him we live and move and have our being, that we are to bring glory and honor to him by living lives that are not autonomous lives and that are not self-sufficient lives, but we live lives where we recognize our need for God, where we honor him by the way we live, allowing him to define life uh, as it is to be lived, and to live interdependent lives, others, others being able to depend on us as we depend on God and depend on others. So that's our Wednesday devotional today. And hey, I think this is the first time I kept it under four minutes. God bless you.